Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would just go over some quick products that you can use to quickly elevate your beauty, whether you're wearing no makeup, full face of makeup, these kind of beauty tips are going to just elevate you and make you look a little bit better. And you know what, more importantly, make you feel your best. It is hot as hell today. I just ran around all day. I got a lot done, so like claps and snaps to me, but I am sweating. And then I came home from running errands and somebody jacked my spot in front of the house, which like royally pisses me off. I don't understand. We only have a one car driveway and clearly Mike and I both have our own cars. So we have two cars. Don't park in front of people's driveways. I think it's so rude. And like, if you know I live here and I park in front of my house, every day. Don't jack my spot. I even tried to get home before 5.30 when people get out of work. No one cares. Someone took my spot. So yes, I'm very excited for this video. I'm also very hot, so I'm gonna take a sip of water. I've been drinking mint and lemon. No, mint and lime. That's a lime fortune. Water because my stomach is just like bothering me. I think it's my nerves. So it's been helping to calm me, but also like the second that I'm not drinking the water, I don't feel that great, but I'm doing a lot of talking. I was very excited to film today, um, but I am so sweaty and please pardon the sweat, but damn girl, look at my face. My makeup looks pretty effing good. Um, I did a tutorial on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because I am like super active over there. I post a lot on stories, like real time things, what I'm doing, things that I'm cooking, eating, working out inspirational things. I always upload or repost, I should say, three inspirational quotes every day on my stories just because I don't let the haters get me down and sometimes I just need like that inspiration first thing when I wake up. So if that sounds interesting to you, follow me on Instagram. Um, but I am wearing Araceli Beauty, this brow pencil, and I just got done a couple videos back saying that I haven't been wearing a brow pencil, but oh my god, this brow pencil is so good. Araceli Beauty, it is their BB, I think it's called, or Bebe. Sorry, it is a Mexican-based brand, so I'm pretty sure it's Bebe. Um, brow pencil, I use the shade Dark Brown. But, who oh, hell, it is hot. If you're interested in what's on my lips, let me just tell you everything that's on me. Face, I'm wearing NYX Barely There Concealer with Merit Bronzer and Blush, because what other bronzer and blush do I ever really wear? Eyes is Araceli, one of their eyeshadow palettes. I will put it down below. Filled in and outlined my lips with Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, and then I put the Dew Tube and Champagne on over top, and this is just like the perfect nude lip. I am really sweating. Please pardon me. And like I bought a little, do you see my little fan? I got that on Amazon. It's a cute little pink fan, but I can't use it because it's so loud. I just like live for a gel like lip gloss or something that claims to be plumping. If you're someone that has natural lips, which I have natural lips, I've never had my lips done. And as I get older, like my lips are slowly but surely deflating. I'm 31 years old. No, I am not old. And even if I was old, like it is what it is. But anything that I can do to correct the lines in my lips, I like to correct them. You know, I naturally have fine lines in my lips. I've always had fine lines in my lips, whether I was like 16, 17, or 31. But as we get older, the collagen in our lips does start to deplete. So I love products that are just gel-like. So that's something that's gonna, again, sit over top of your lips, but absorb into your lips and kind of plump the lip lines the lines on your lips, you know? So some products that I really love are the Tarte Sugar Rush Lip Gloss in the shade Dragon Fruit. This is like the most beautiful kind of lip gloss you could ever dream of. And it has a very, very light tint of purple, but it's just so beautiful. Honestly, I wear this at home mostly when I'm not wearing any makeup because Mike just loves it and tells me how good my lips look when I wear it. It's just like your natural lips, but on steroids. It's really nice. And then the Tarte Juicy lip maracujas are worth the hype. I own the shade Orchid, but I want to try some other shades. So, so good. Highly recommend. Again, fill in those lines. And then today I am wearing Dewtube, which does a pretty good job of filling in my lines as well. But also Fenty Glow is so good. Like These are just a lot of lip glosses that I love, that I swear by. And then if you're someone that wants to enhance your lips, like with a lip plumping product, the killer, no, what is it? What is it called? Too Faced Filler Instinct. I don't know what it is. I think I'm mixing up the NYX and the 
Too Faced one, but it's a lip injection. Color Bomb, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Oh my God, when I first tried that, my lips were on fire. My aunt gave it to me because she won it in a giveaway and said she was never gonna use it. And I love lip pumping, lip plumping products. My lips were on fire and I was like, holy hell. This is unbearable, but honestly, it hasn't been as bad as the first time that I used it. I think I just like kind of got a little used to it. I'm gonna put my hair back like that for a second. It doesn't look as cute, but uh, your girl's sweating. A tinted brow gel, my friends, will get you super far. I personally have been loving the one from Merit because it has conditioning properties in it. So it's gonna help to condition the hairs of your brows to help them stay put longer. And it's just my natural brows are the bushiest they've ever been because I use that brow gel religiously, aside from today. I strayed away from it today because I was trying some of RSLE's beauty products, but oh my God, this brow pencil, guys. It is so good, but just a tinted brow gel, or if you're someone that has naturally bushy brows and you don't need to fill them in, clear brow gel, just something to lift them up will make all the difference. And I always say this, after my skincare routine at night, I don't put anything in my brows because I'm going to bed or I'm gonna go watch TV before going to bed, so I don't wanna put any makeup on, but I'll take a spoolie and just brush my brows up because just lifting the brow hairs makes you look more awake. Moisturizer on in the morning or at night and then run a spoolie through your brow hairs and you will instantly look more awake. There's nothing sexier than a cream blush in my opinion. I think one that matches the natural flush of your face is always the most flattering. For me, I love Merit in Beverly Hills. That is my to die for shade cream blush. It is so beautiful. It just melts into the skin. It looks like juicy, dewy. I'm wearing it today. Like look at that cheek. I didn't powder my face at all actually because I'm doing a dedicated video to the NYX Barely There Concealer and I want to show you guys like just how amazing it is without powdering. So there's absolutely no powder on my face and I've been a sweaty bitch and I've been wearing this makeup since 11 a.m. and it is now 10 to 6. So she's been wearing this for close to seven hours. So, you know, just a flushed cream blush is sexy, it's youthful, and it's just, it's just throw it on. Like, honestly, there are days where I wake up, I put on my SPF moisturizer, I run a spoolie through my brows, and I throw on a little bit of cream blush. I'll put that tart lip gloss on my lips and call it a day, and it just makes me look more awake. It makes me look more flushed, more youthful. Um, I would pick a cream blush over a bronzer, over contour, over a foundation every, every single day, honestly. So like just the look of a cream blush sometimes is all you really need. This like really goes without saying, and I feel like especially if you've followed me throughout the years or you watch any of my videos, like moisturizer goes the longest way. Your face, your neck, your arms, your entire body, anywhere that's showing, anywhere that's hidden, like just a moisturizer makes your skin look so much better. You know, you don't have dry flakes on your skin. It makes it look more supple, more juicy. It's just a good look. And if you can moisturize your skin every time you get out of the shower, more power to you. That is something that I do religiously. There's not a day that I get out of the shower that I don't moisturize my body. I use various products, but like guys, Anything that you're actually going to use, I always suggest using. And like added bonus, SPF will always help you. It'll make your skin look juicy, supple, and will help prevent any aging that may occur. Vitamin C, guys, I slept on vitamin C for a hot minute. I really like the Mad Hippie vitamin C. I also really like these little drops. I forgot what it's called. It's like a weird name for a brand. I'll put it on the screen as well as down below, but it's like vitamin C, not drops. It's powder that you can add into moisturizer or serum, anything that you want. It's really nice because you don't have to commit to a vitamin C serum or a vitamin C cream. You can literally just throw that in whatever you want. But vitamin C is going to help with discoloration. So in the long run, it's gonna help make your skin look more even, but it also just naturally brightens your skin like instantly. I love vitamin C. I think everyone should use it. It pairs really beautifully with ferulic acid. A lot of honestly vitamin C products have both ferulic acid and vitamin C in them. So you don't need to mix the two. But if you are looking for a ferulic acid because you already have vitamin C, the Kiehl's ferulic acid um, essential brew, essence brew, I guess it's called, is really, really good. And I highly, highly recommend. Eye drops, easy as that. You know, I haven't gotten high in a really long time. Told you guys in a recent video, I've kind of been going through a lot lately. And so I find that like, I cannot be intoxicated in any shape of the sense. I don't even think that made sense. And those are the only two ways that I get intoxicated. Personally, I'm not like, you know, I don't really, I'm not adventurous. 
but it's a good thing in my opinion. But anyway, but I still have the eye drops and I'm no longer, you know, I use eye drops every day before I get ready and I use the clear eyes for red eyes just because it really helps to make my eyes clearer. You know, it gets rid of the redness, it gets rid of any, like just, yeah, I don't know. And like I have allergies, so if you have allergies, I highly recommend it. It's just gonna make your eyes, like around your eyes, I don't know. It's not your iris. I have no idea. The whites in your eyes, it's gonna make them brighter. So it's gonna help to make your makeup pop, help you look more awake and just ready for the day. So eye drops, quick, easy eye drops, you know? Face rolling. Guys, I face roll my face using a face roller every day. I've done quite a few tutorials on it. I've mentioned it so many times here on my channel as well as on my Instagram, on my TikTok, everywhere. I love a face roller. The face roller that I use is from Satchu Beauty. It is so good. It has a larger side and a smaller size. The larger side I use for my face and my chin and then the smaller side I use around my eyes. Face rolling is really good for depuffing. So if you're someone that wakes up with a really puffy face, you know, I always recommend washing your face with cold water. I've shown you guys, like I said so many times, like one side of my face done opposed to the other one. So I'll roll out one face and I'll show you like the puffiness. It's crazy. Sometimes you like, well, every time you'll roll it out a couple times and you'll see the puffiness just go away, which in turn makes everything look tighter and just supple. It's so good. I highly recommend a face roller. I definitely slept on it for a long time, but it is no joke. Setting spray, just a good setting spray throughout the day in between um, steps in your skincare routine. Just a setting spray is good because it adds a really thin layer of hydration. So if you're someone like me who has really dry skin, but you can't hold too much on your face because you get really hot and sweaty, a face mist is really the way to go. It's gonna, again, add that extra layer of hydration without adding too much to your face. I personally love the Lifestyle & Co. Beach Mist. Oh my God, it is the most hydrating facial mist I've ever used. I'll wake up, I'll wash my face, and then I'll do some other things. And then by the time I sit down in front of my vanity, my face is a little bit dry, so I'll use that facial mist to just help hydrate or moisten my skin again. I know we hate that word, but I don't really know what else to word. Redampen, dampen, I don't know. My skin again, and then I'll go in with my serum and my eye cream, and then before I go ahead and put SPF on, I'll use another layer of the facial mist to help that sunscreen glide across my face because as you know sunscreen is a little bit thicker so the setting spray is going to help glide everything on and then I'll do my makeup and in between steps in my makeup I use the facial spray I have really been using the beach mist um, one excessively it is by far the most hydrating facial spray I've ever used and I really really love it and I highly recommend it and it's really gotten me in the mood to try other facial sprays because for the longest time I only used a makeup setting spray but the Lifestyle & Co has really open my eyes to a more skincare based setting spray. That one has tea tree oil in it, which helps to treat acne and prevent acne. And it also has aloe vera in it, which is extremely hydrating, like I said. Those are all of the quick tips I thought you needed to know to help elevate your everyday look, whether you're wearing makeup or not. If you would like to see more videos like this, be sure to give this one a big thumbs up down below. Let me know down below in the comments as well. What are some of your everyday beauty products or techniques that you do to help you feel your best? I have so much more than this, but these are just the ones that I've written down in recent weeks that I just really think make all the difference. And being someone who has been leaning more into natural beauty, less makeup, kind of like sit down on my vanity, be done with my makeup in five minutes. I felt that these were really, really fitting. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell before you leave. I had a wonderful time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.